Hello, hello, and welcome to another exciting Star Admiral Let's Play. Uh, my name's Shay. Uh, welcome back to those of you who are coming back. Those of you who don't know me, I'm the quality assurance lead and technical artist here at Hardscore Games, and this is Star Admiral. Um, this is a really exciting uh, Let's Play for me, and for you guys too, hopefully, because we're going to be talking about, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek into a lot of the cool new features coming up in our next patch. So yeah, a lot of work has gone into this, and we can't wait to give it over to, to you guys, our players. Uh, we think it's going to be a lot of fun. So one of the exciting new features, uh, and one of the big ones, is we now have Twitch fully integrated into our mobile gaming space. So you're probably used to hearing my my rather charming Australian accent. And now you get a chance to see me too. So that's me in the background there. All right, hi. Welcome back, or oh, welcome newbies. Um, good to be with you. So here it is, Twitch. Uh, I think that this this installment uh, and this, this addition uh, additional feature to our game is gonna be great uh, because it is obviously such a competitive game and sometimes you just have these replays that are so good. Um, and really nice moments, and now you'll be able to share them, interact with the community while you're in game. Um, you, know, you can have chatting away with your users as well. Um, so yeah, we're really, really excited to be able to give these guys to you. And um, you might notice just from looking at the main menu a few of the other new features we have too. So for example, we got a lot of feedback from users saying they got sick and tired of, of waiting for a really long time to complete some missions that were either too hard or didn't suit their gameplay style. And so now, if you decide you don't want to have to disable five crafts in one game, which you can only do right now with Moxu, you can just get rid of that mission. So, there we go. Suicide shot. So now an Empire-specific mission, and I'm playing my Moxu deck. Go figure. So, uh, that's, that's one of the little ones. Um, we also have heaps of new content, heaps of new content. So we've got 10 new units, a lot of new traps, um, a, lot of, a lot of which I've put in this deck, which I'm going to play with now. And um, we've even changed some of the core game mechanics a little bit, um, just with traps, and, and they'll still be very familiar to all of our old players. We've just made them more consistent. I'll talk about that um, a bit more in-game. Um, new units, new content, that is another big one. Uh, we have... Um, introducing I think 10 new units this patch uh, with a lot of new traps and so I've gone ahead and made a, a deck already or at least most of a deck and put in some of our new units so um, it should be it should change the gameplay up a lot I think um, we've, we've brought in a lot of new traps to, to give control decks more of a presence in the game and to also just add some more excitement um, so some of these traps have completely new mechanics that uh, no other unit has introduced yet um, so, I mean, let's have a look here. Oh, this is a great one. Uh, this is Infiltration Squad. You can see by reading there, it says, the next played enemy strike is nullified. Instead, add it to your hand. So it's a tier two uh, and low costing trap, and they're great fun to play. Um, stealing someone else's strike is really interesting. Uh, as, you, as you might know already, um, you can't just put any strike or trap into your deck if it's race specific. Um, or faction specific, I should say. So you can't chuck an Empire Strike into a Moxu deck. But if you happen to steal one, then you could end up playing a Moxu deck with or experimental weapons uh, if the if, you know the opponent plays it and you steal it. So that's a lot of fun. Um, this is a more straight up uh, new trap called Retaliate. We have next time your avatar is attacked, random friendly craft attacks the enemy avatar. So. Lots of new fun stuff. Um, we've also tried to add some some low cost tier two units as well, um, which Infiltration Squad is uh, an example of that. Uh, what else? Turtle. Here's another new unit. Uh, when played, play random craft with a cost of one or less from your fleet. Uh, so it's an epic. Um, it's, it's good fun to play. Two three for a, for a three cost, and brings in a one one ship. So um, yeah. What else? We have some, some other cool features. We've also changed the way traps work a little bit. Uh, and so I'll talk about more of that in-game. And yeah, what else? Also the background. So you'll notice the background here is, is just so much better now. Um, and we have a lot of blues now, no, no greens. We've taken the greens right out. And our lead artist, Chris, has been working really hard on that. So. I just wanted to give you a bit of a close up and uh, we've got moving objects now and it affects everything. I'm surprised at just how much um, better all the effects look too. Um, so yeah, look, let's get straight into it. I will actually play a game. Yeah, so 
Um, also, we've added heaps and heaps of bug fixes to this, this patch as well. And so not just new content, we've also tried to address some of the issues we were having. Um, one of the big ones for those users using um, older, older devices like the iPad minis or the, or the iPhone 4, you'll notice uh, significantly um, better gameplay, much smoother uh, and, and a much better experience. So that's, that's really cool. Those devices almost play the same as, as the iPad uh, Air that, we, we, that I normally test on as well. So that's, that's really, really good. So there's one of our new, new units already. Uh, that's a Shadow exclusive um, strike and it's called Bargain. Let's see what it does here. Next strike or you play costs one energy. So it's very much a preparation strike. Um, ooh, not a bad hand. Uh, a lot of expensive units. I'm definitely going to hold on to that cool trap, which is one of our new traps too. And we're playing Frank in Space. One of our top players also happens to be one of the... Well, I, well yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, yeah, he's a, he's a developer here. I can tell you that. I guess that's not a bad thing. Um, and so we play our game. We actually like the game that we develop. Uh, and I, I always have a hard time beating Frank. He's a very good player. Very, very, very good. And so hopefully this will be the let's play that I win a match. Because the last ones I haven't won. Alright. So. Gonna make Frank discard a card. Yes, perfect. We've got Turtles, another new unit. Simple effect, really cool though. It's a tank. Uh, three for a 2-3. Oh. And already getting owned out. So when played, play Random Craft, it costs one or less from your fleet. But of course, that set off Frank's friendly fire, which just went off and play Craft, deal damage equal to its attack and destroy it. And that just happened, so ouch. So I'm already on the back foot here. We'll see, see how we go. Hopefully I can uh, bring it back. <coughs> now, just gonna uh, give myself some health there and not do too much that turn. Uh, Mm, a little worried. I mean, it's not, he doesn't have a huge grip on the battlefield right now. Uh, something I should talk about uh, are the, the slight mechanic changes um, that we put into the trap um, trap mechanics. And so one of the big ones is traps can only activate on the enemy's turn now, on your opponent's turn. So unfortunately, this means some combos like using playing a drone craft, dealing one damage to yourself, and setting off reflective field. You can't do that anymore because traps can only go off on your enemy's turn. But it has allowed us to introduce some some new and and really cool um, mechanics. And yeah, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh my god, I just. Oh, that's so frustrating. Master Trap destroyed my really expensive friendly fire, my legendary trap. Anyhow, so traps can only go off on the enemy's turn. Um, very good thing to remember. Some of these trap mechanics are, in fact, already part of the game. And another one, I'm just looking at my little list here, is that when multiple traps trigger on the same event, they resolve in the order they were played. So what that means is, let's say you play a repair shield and then a code of hologram. Then, oh, I haven't done a single point of damage. Um, then the repair shield will trigger before the, the decoy hologram um, because you played it before, even though they both trigger on the same event, which is when an enemy craft goes to attack. Uh, and another one is that um, you multitasking is tricky. Uh, <laughs> another thing that's changed is. When you can't stack traps in the way you used to be able to stack them. So it's still good to have multiple traps in play, even if they're the same trap. But if you have two repair shields or like two revolutions in play and an enemy ship attacks, only one will be triggered. And then, yeah, so that's, that's how that goes. Oh man, this has been a, a brutal match. Um, trying to multitask and watching my health points tick slowly down. Okay, what have we got here? I'm just, I, I, that's it. I can tell from my hand that I can't do anything. How frustrating. A brutal game. I got nothing out, nothing. So this tells me that my deck's not working. So that's what it tells me. Anywho. Well, short, sweet. 
talk about brutal matches. So that's that's the main changes to the trap mechanics, but it has allowed us to bring in some really, really cool uh, new traps with like totally new mechanics. Um, stealing tr strikes is, is one of the traps that I had in this, this deck and I really wanted to show you guys. And it's so satisfying when someone goes to play a strike and you're just like, nope, we'll take that. Uh, so that's really cool. And yeah. Oh! <laughs> Explosions, man! My whole ship just got destroyed. It was, it was really full on. I don't even know how I'm still talking. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the little let's play, and, and I hope you've uh, excited as we are about some of the new features. Um, and can't wait to to push this patch and see you next time. Bye.